dream, changing your life, it's hard. It's hard when you lose all your money, when you, you, you've given it the best that you have, when you have some major setback, it's hard. When a doctor looked at me and said the three horrible words no one wants to hear, you have cancer. It was hard to mobilize my mind and spirit, to listen to tapes and music and read scripture and be around other people and seeking out other prostate cancer conquerors to believe that I could do this. It was hard. Never forget my son said, Daddy, are you going to die? Why are you asking me that? You're not going out much. You're not the bubbly personality that I know you to be. You're not talking much. You're spending a lot of time in the room by yourself, Dad. Are you going to surrender? Are you giving up? Are you going to let that, that doctor's opinion become your reality? Will my daddy see me graduate? Yes, yes, son, yes, yes. I'm going to fight. No, no, I, I don't think it's my time yet. I'm going to see you graduate, but more than that, I've got some other things that I'm going to do with my life. And I thank you for asking me that. Um, but I must tell you that I'm scared. I'm scared. And um, I've never been in this situation before. It's been easy for me to talk to people and encourage people when they've had challenges in their lives, um, but it's me, and I don't feel less than a man in, in, in admitting this to you. Yes, I'm scared, and I need some help. See, life is hard, and, and there are some moments in life when you're going to need some help. You're going to need somebody to speak to you. You're going to need somebody to say something to you. I have a friend of mine, Willie Jolly, who's a motivational speaker. He said, a setback is a setup for a comeback. I had to listen to Willie's tapes. I have another friend, Kevin Bracey, who's a, who's a speaker. He said, Les, come on, man. You can do this. You can make this happen. You can hit a home run. It's a done deal. You are Les Brown. That cancer's got to get out of your body. I said, talk to me, Kevin. Talk to me. That's what I need to hear. I needed to hear those words. I don't care who you are. Many people won't allow themselves to ask for help because of, of pride. Pride cometh before a fall. Because of ego. Ego means edging God out. No, ask for help. Not because you're weak, but because you want to remain strong. And ask for help and don't stop until you get it. I'm here because a lot of people helped me. I'm here because a lot of people believed in me at a time when I was struggling to believe in myself. The other thing is, let us say together, it's worth it. Yeah, see, I think, and write this down, you've got to find five reasons that will make it worth it for you. Five reasons. What will make it worth it for you? Mine was, I want to take care of my mother. Mine was, I want to do something with my life. What will make it worth it for you? Mine is, I want to leave a legacy. Mine is, I refuse to die an unlived life. What will make it worth it for you? Repeat out to me, please. You've got to be hungry. As you look at your goals and look at your dreams, write this down. You will fail your way to success. See, 85% of people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. You're going to make some mistakes, and it's okay. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. It's worth doing right if you know how to do it, but if you don't know how to do it, it's worth doing badly until you get it right. You have to be willing to experiment with life. I've done a variety of things and I had absolutely no idea I had the ability to do those things. Here's what I can say about you and I don't even know you. You've got greatness within you, but you will not discover your greatness in your comfort zone. You've got to be willing to get outside of your comfort zone because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. And most people, they go to their graves with their greatness still in them. Maybe that's why one woman said in a moment of anguish, what if you live your whole life only to discover that it was wrong? Here's something else as you think about your goals and dreams. What's your why? Why do you want to do it? What drives you?